my God. The play. The play is called play. Of the day. Runner left side. I got it. it. Play it and play it. This is the play of the day. Check this out. Taysom Hill can probably run. Flag as Parson as uh, Hill throws. It's intercepted at the 25. Down the left side. Into the end zone. That is a touchdown. I think it's Carlos Watkins. Carlos Watkins, a defensive tackle. That's courtesy of 105.3 The Fan, the Cowboys radio network. Cowboys have four interception returns for touchdowns this season. Tied for the most in a season since the Bears had five in 2018. That's your play of the day. It's brought to you by the GLA from Mercedes-Benz. Proves it's not the size of the SUV in the fight. Size of the fight in the SUV. Learn more about the nimble and ready for anything Mercedes-Benz vehicle. MBUSA.com. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. In case you're wondering, Taysom Hill throwing four interceptions, the most interceptions by a Saints quarterback since Drew Brees was picked off five times by the Falcons in 2012. Here's another stat that you probably didn't know about and you probably don't want to join Taysom Hill is one of two players in NFL history with at least 100 yards rushing and four interceptions in a game. The other quarterback, oh, you would be really hard-pressed to figure this one out. Oh, you know what? I'm going to let Todd try to answer this. He played for the Denver Broncos, rushed for over 100 yards, and threw at least four interceptions in the same game. Ooh. Steve Berline. Steve Berline is not the answer. Paulie? I don't know his name per se, but he's that wide receiver kid when everyone got COVID and they had to play last year. No. Oh! This happened against the Chicago Bears in December of 1976. I'll give you another hint. He succeeded Archie Manning at Mississippi. He was the next quarterback in line, played for the Broncos, had great hair, feathered hair. Norris Weiss. Oh. Norris Weiss. Nice. Whoa. Stat of the day. Stat of the day. Here, Here comes, comes that one. Stat of the day. 